tie some things back together here. So I've got Tyler down on the ground. This is very sweet judo throw sometimes, you know, pull guard. Uh, we have to deal with the hooks, right? So he's usually making hooks a lot of the time. Everybody sort of knows hiding the feet on the inside is more difficult to do any kind of uh, leg attacks, right? Um, if I've got hands on him, I'm going to have to peel the hands off, and that's going to complicate things a little bit. So let's leave him off for today, right? Realistically, you're probably going to have to deal with him some of the time. You may not be able to enter into a leg lock position for persons like this, too. You might say, okay, well, this is difficult. I'm going to sit here and pass like this instead, right? So instead here, once I'm up like this, I'm going to go here. I need to lower Tyler's leg here to where I can drive his shin with my knee, with my shin as well, right? So my knee absolutely has to be above his shin in order to do this. So once I get here, I'm blocking, pivoting, and then I'm in this spot. Right? Now I'm going to hop to the side. He's almost definitely going to hook my leg like that, right? Reverse daily. We talked about that some last week too, both from the other person's perspective. So here I'm going to push it in here, swivel. Once I get here, before my knee hits the ground, I'm going to step through as though I'm going to do a leg drag pass. You know, if I wanted to finish the leg drag, I would just staple it here, right? But I can't do that because he's out. So I'm going to sit here. And as it looks like I fall, right, but I'm holding on like this so that it slows everything down. Both feet go through into this position like this, right? we we'll start with just the basic inverted heel hook here that we worked before, right? Kurt, you can out of time. But I want to lead to something else, right? So we're starting here. I'm going to turn my hips to the side to be sure that I have his heel exposed, and then I'm moving down this way to catch him. So I can use Tyler's toes as a placeholder, a stop point. Now I can twist his foot here with my upper body back and in, and that exposes the heel. Now I don't want to screw the whole thing up by going here, right? So once I got it exposed, I stay shallow with my hook. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Palm to palm which means this one doesn't move, right? I don't go like this and then go, eh, oops. No, I go like this, keep it here, go and meet it. Last but not least, just push your hips forward easily, steadily, while keeping everything else just locked in place, right? So the whole thing, just so everybody understands, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We've worked this before, right? I have to get this below my knee, though, otherwise the whole thing won't work, right? Here. Once I'm here, I hop to the side, he hooks up and in. Thank you.